Hello guys, I am Suresh Kumar Thanda. Uh, I am here to uh, give you some knowledge on business intelligence. And this is a, a video series and this is the first session on business intelligence. Uh, instead of discussing all other things, so let's jump on to the introduction. <coughs> The definition of a business intelligence. Various people has defined the business intelligence in a different formats, but uh, if you observe any of the definition and it finally tells you that the BI is used to take or make a better dis business decisions. Now let's take a to a most popular definitions. Uh, BI is a broad category of applications and technologies for gathering, storing, analyzing and providing access to the data to help clients make better business decisions. And the, uh, the sentence which you need to understand to make a better decisions. And the second definition also tells the same. It is a system of uh, collecting and integrating, analyzing and the presence the information to support better decision making and the key terms here you need to understand is the data and the decision making. Uh, the business intelligence uh, is all about the collecting the data, storing the data, analyzing the data and arranging the data in a such a format where a business can take a better decisions. Then what is it? So as I explained you just now it's all about the data so the right type right information at the right time in the right format for making a better decisions a decisions can be at a strategic level a tactical level and operational level so which will take you uh, to a better company you take an example of uh, uh, the reducing the uh, staff in a company so do I need to reduce the staff? So it needs in the right information, how many staff, wh what type of staff I have, uh, what is my business is doing with this staff, and what is my growth, what is my operational expenses. So do I need to reduce it or not? So if you can provide the right information at the right time in the right format, and which is matching to the bus uh, business data, so you can take in the right decision on that. Why do the company needs it? Assume that you are a company uh, which is uh, where you wanted to meet the competitive advantage. You want to take the advantage in the competition. And let's take you know, the sophistication of intelligence. What intellig what type of intelligence you have? So if you if you choose the sophistication of intelligence, and you can be in the market in the competitive market. So the primary thing we call it as an operational BI. So which deals about. Uh, report generations, ad hoc reports, query and drill down reports and alerts and this answers the following questions. What happened? How many? How often? And where is it happened? And where exactly the problem is? And what actions are needed? And this is the basic questions which are answered is called an operational BI. If you then how it is now? No, if you wanted to be in the market, the more sophisticated and you will be in the competitive. That means if what or uh, if you take uh, the alerts now, the what actions are needed and if you are able to take an action when required, then you will be more in the market. And what, uh, oper what operational, the operational BI is deals with, you know, data collection, storage, management, analysis and uh, reporting and mining so this is this deals the operational bi and there is another type of bi we call it as a tactical and statistical bi stat strategic bi and this involves like statistical analysis forecasting predictive modeling and optimization and this answers these questions like why is this happening what if the trends continue what will happen next what is the best that can happen and so the more you are uh, in the if you wanted to be in the competition of the market then you need to uh, adapt the more of a strategic bi so 
so you you will be in the market if you are more into a predictive modeling and optimization this deals with the concepts called data science machine learning statistical and predictive analysis that's what the companies are needed the business intelligence so this is more important and based on this you are going to take an, um, the business decisions which will help or which will grow the company let's talk about the capabilities of a bi what it can do it collects the data that's as we discussed it's an operational bi uh, data collection storage and management and very important thing as a part of a bi is extract transform and load this is called an etl there are a hell lot of etl tools in the world we are also talking we are, we are going to talk about those in in, in the coming sessions and then data analysis and this is where uh, people are uh, on a stuck with so the data analysis means there is an it, it's in a big ocean but you know basically what it has is like you know it's understanding your data spending most of the time with your data and what the data means and what how the data is used and what's wrong with the data what's right with the data what information i have with the data so all you know digging into the data and do some analysis and spend some time and get friendship with the data and convert that into in a right format which can be presentable this is another capability of your uh, business intelligence there are a lot of tools provided for data analysis instead of doing it manually and a dashboard and a report generation a presentation of your data after you have done your analysis and you can just give a overview of your data in in the pictorial format and then data mining like you know predictive analysis this is in a, a tactical uh, bi you can do apply uh, you can use a lot of uh, the uh, data mining algorithms and do the data mining and come to a conclusion or you can predict what's going to happen these are all the different capabilities of your bi and what are all those components you have here you need to have the components are one of the components is called a data sources and you will have a component called an etl where the data sources means the different various forms of data it can be any form whatever you have and and get the data and this is called a gathering the data and the transform the data using the integration tools that we call as an extract transform and load and then load the data into a data warehouse where it all the data is stored in the form of uh, tables or you can call it as an a dimensional model here <coughs> or you know flat structure also you can say that it's a data warehouse from the data warehouse you know if you want to do the analysis and you can use the analytical tools like in you know, a cubes any type of cube you can use it and you can start doing your analysis convert the data which is in the flat form and convert into a, a dimensional model which will which makes you to do the analysis much faster slicing and dicing and then present your reports you present your reports using the pictorial format and and with the same data warehouse you can also do a lot of mining to suggest the uh, management or to the business you know what's going to happen in future that's where data mining and by using you know, a lot of um, analytical tools so it's data mining tools you, know. you can also present the data using an you know, OLTP that's in you know, a direct uh, on your uh, flattened data what you need to understand here is the key terms like OLTP and OLAP and ETL OLTP is a transaction processing as and when the transaction is happened the data is stored and that transaction can mm, can change any point of time it can be cancelled or it can be reverted back and it can be it can do anything and if i do the analysis with the transactional data so my reports cannot be the same at a, at a particular point of time so in the last hour if it is a now uh, in, if it shows my uh, profit and in the next hour it may show as a loss like if you take a share market every second the data changes that is called a transactional processing like an oil ap means analytical processing so and this data is used for analysis so the data what we are using is a uh, stale data that means which has the data at a particular point of time and the data will not change we call it as an historical data or oil ap data processing and etl extract transform and load this is another key term in a bi so extracting means here you identifying the multiple sources and getting them into one location and transforming them that's like in you know, a stitching or converting into a different you know 
uh, different data types into a required format and load into a data warehouse. So any BI has the basic components is the data sources and uh, ETL and data warehouse uh, analysis as a cube data mining and the reporting and these are all the components <laughs> and let's talk about uh, some terminology here so in the business intelligence because it's all depends on the data so that the first term the key term is a database so the databases are designed for organizing mm, uh, organizing the data or uh, storage the data in an organized form and the managing the data is also the way it becomes very easy for the databases a database can be any form it can be excel form it can be tabular form it can be text or it can be anything comma separated value it can be anything it's only to, to store the data in organized format and integration that means collecting all the data sources and put them in one place that's an integration what you have collect convert or transform and stitch and the load analysis <coughs> The analysis always, as we discussed just now, it will be done on the historical data or at a particular point of time, the data is not changing here. And basically, uh, this we are calling as an uh, analysis services. <coughs> and using the analysis, we will give or we convert the data into a meaningful format. And by looking at the data, we can make some sense out of it reporting and this is an eye-catching format uh, it is the UI it's a final output and nobody looks at your data but they looks at your format how it is presented so based on this then your performance or your data shows what it is without this and your data has no meaning at all and what tools we use there are a hell lot of tools we have in the world that's, uh, Microsoft has come up with a different tools like a uh, SQL Server BI Suite, and Power BI Suite, and Microsoft Excel. And in, you have an Oracle has uh, come up with the different tools. And Informatica is one of the uh, BI tool and big data nowadays, because the data is very huge to deal with. In a huge data, then we have a big data Hadoop, Cassandra, Azure, and Cosmos. And Cognos and Tableau are also BI tools, but it's more com concentrated on a reporting form. Yep. That's all about an uh, introduction of BI and let's meet in the second session. Thank you. Uh, let's have a, a quick review on that, what we discussed in this session. It's uh, what is BI, business intelligence. Now we talked about here the presenting the data or uh, giving, uh, making a, a business decisions, it will be used here. Then what are the, why company needs it? Because if you wanted to be in the competence of the world, in the re current world, then you need to work with your data, what's happening with in your company so that you will be in uh, taking the right decisions and what are the different capabilities you have and what are the different components now what are the what, what are the bi components are like you know data sources etl data warehouse and cubes da uh, data mining and the reporting different tools you you are using it here now the tools are like you know databases uh, etls integration tools and you have an analysis tools and you have a reporting tools please remember send any of your questions related to bi to suri underscore thanda at hotmail.com thank you guys <laughs>